Abuse does not need to be inevitable. We can foster inclusivity and kindness together. Together, we can build a more progressive games ecosystem. Hi, I'm Claire Barnett. I'm the Executive Director of UN Women UK. I'm Tara Mustafa, my pronouns are she, her, and I am the founder and CEO of Code Coven. UN Women is the United Nations entity for gender equality and the elimination of violence against women and girls. Working at every level, our mission is to make sure that every woman and girl worldwide has equal access to safety, choice, and a voice. So freedom from violence of all kinds and harassment, choice over her body, her work, and her leisure time, and a voice as a leader and not just as a service user. As part of this global mission, we've been working for 10 years around the world to make public spaces safer with tangible solutions. We released data earlier this year that shows that over seven in 10 women in the UK of all ages um, experience sexual harassment, and only 3% of 18 to 24 year olds told us that they hadn't. So we know that the scale of this issue is huge, and that goes for streets and public transport, schools, universities and workplaces, um, nightlife venues, festivals and also online spaces. This is why together we're hosting the Safe Spaces Game Jam. At Code Coven, we are passionate about our craft and that is game development. Through games, we believe that we can create empathic experiences which help develop a language and an understanding for what many people experience. We get to immerse ourselves in the worlds and shoes of other people. With games, we can explore and workshop difficult topics and situations in the safety of our communities, networks, and homes. At Code Coven, our core values are entrenched in safety in our communities, trying to affect an industry that hasn't been synonymous with the word safety for quite some time. I've often thought about the idea of what defines a space or a place and the difference between the physical and the virtual? Is it the people? Is it the location? Is it the boundaries that are set on entering? And when I started Code Coven, it was with the idea that we could create this boundaried space where people were cared for and they had the freedom of expression and the opportunity to be heard. It's a place for marginalized people to not be marginalized and all of it virtual and remote. The Safe Spaces Now Game Jam is a seven day game jam where game developers and creators explore ways to foster safe spaces, both physical and virtual, and to prevent and mitigate abuse rooted in misogyny. The participants are asked to answer one or more of the following briefs. Translating behavioral solutions that work offline into the online space, role-playing difficult conversations, incentivizing positive behavior as bystanders or others, helping marginalized people find out about their rights and where to get help, creating educational content which encourages respect and boundaries, ways to approach empathy, why is harassment a problem, and how can we help to reach non-marginalized people with these experiences? I'm hoping that this jam is a start of a conversation. It's the development of a language and toolbox for which we can foster virtual and physical safe spaces. I'm really excited to see what will come out of this. Thank you for joining us. So do think big with this. We want ideas that are going to be super engaging so that people actually play them. Ambitious, really looking at transformational change and making a real difference to preventing harassment and violent behaviour in public spaces, shaping the way that those spaces work to make them safer and more inclusive. So as I mentioned, this is our first ever experience with a game jam and we know the games you create are going to be absolutely amazing. So we look forward to being in touch over the next week and we cannot wait to see what you come up with. From myself and the whole UN Women UK team, thank you so much for taking part. Have fun and we'll see you very soon. Together, we demand safe spaces now.